While the earliest Model S examples with rear-wheel drive and no autopilot capabilities may well be into their sixth year on the road, they are still often a good used car buy. For a start, they offer far more range per charge than many other cars on the market today. And while they may be as expensive or more expensive than a comparable new electric car, like the 2018 Nissan Leaf or Chevrolet Bolt EV, many owners find they offer more practicality for long range trips, thanks to the extensive Tesla supercharger network, which offers the fastest charging and most comprehensive EV charging network available today. And while a used Model S may still be out of the price range for most people, it is for me, it's possible if you're really lucky to get your hands on a used Model S for less than some new mid-range electric cars. Add in continued improvements for used Teslas via software updates, and it's clear to see why many people are looking for used Model Ss. But if you're trying to get your hands on one, what's the best way to do it? First up, avoid buying a Tesla that's being sold by a third-party used car dealership with little or no knowledge of electric cars. That, by the way, is true of any type of electric vehicle unless you happen to know the model very well yourself. That's because it's quite common for electric cars that are sold in this way to have a plethora of problems caused by a lack of charging or a car salesperson who has purchased a car with problems and is trying to sell it on. To that end, it's unlikely that a Tesla being sold through a third-party dealership will have the same warranty available as you'd get from Tesla and its certified pre-owned program. Second, join a Tesla forum. There are plenty of Tesla forums out there, but the best known one is the Tesla Motors Club. It has a for sale section and it's often possible to pick up some really good deals from existing Tesla owners who, for whatever reason, don't want to trade their existing Tesla in when they buy a new car. In addition to getting some great deals on private sales of pre-owned Teslas, joining a Tesla owners club or forum is a great way to learn about common problems that can affect the Tesla variant you're looking into. It's also a great way to find someone locally who's willing to come and help check a car over for you. Third, get to know your local Tesla store folks. While Tesla does have a website where it lists its nationwide stock of certified pre-owned Teslas, many of the best deals out there don't actually make it to that site. It's a little like the real estate market. The houses that you see on websites like Trulia and Zillow are the ones that haven't sold through local realtors. The really good houses are the ones which sell before they're advertised to the wider world. Admittedly, some Tesla store sales staff, most I'll guess, will try and get you behind the wheel of a new Tesla rather than a certified pre-owned one. But if you're firm with them about what you want and what your price range is, the chances are that they'll keep their eyes out for a suitable car coming into the local store at the end of its lease or as part exchange for a new model. After all, if you think about it, they'd rather you buy a certified pre-owned Tesla through them than not one at all, right? Of course, if you buy through Tesla's certified pre-owned program, you also benefit from the security of having a warranty on the car. Given that it's fairly common for Teslas to suffer drivetrain issues at some point in their life, early ones at least, not to mention have issues with doors and door handles, it's often worth paying a little extra to go through a certified pre-owned Tesla program than it is to buy privately. Now I've actually covered the tips on finding a used Tesla, it's worth mentioning some tips on financing as well. Just like any used car purchase, if you're looking to fund your purchases through a loan or a lease, you should always shop around to get the best deal you can. If you're buying through Tesla, you'll probably find that the local Tesla store will be able to hook you up with a pretty good deal. However, it may not be the absolute best deal out there for you, so it's worth doing a little bit of work before you buy to make sure your Tesla store is offering you a competitive package. For example, some banks and credit unions offer incredibly low interest rates on auto loans. Not only that, but some actually offer a discount if you're buying a zero emission vehicle. For example, when we purchased our used 2013 Nissan Leaf from a local Portland specialist back in 2015, our credit union gave us a far lower interest rate than our car loan than it would have been if we'd been buying an internal combustion engine car. At the same time, make sure you shop around for insurance. How much you'll pay, of course, depends on your own personal circumstances, where you live, and what your driving history is. But it will also depend on the features of the car. How much you'll pay, though, depends on your insurance company's policies. For example, some insurance providers are toying with the idea of offering discounts to Tesla owners whose cars have autopilot technology since it helps avoid accidents. 
Others, like AAA, have recently put up their premiums for Tesla owners, citing high repair costs and higher than average claim rates. In summary then, buying a used Tesla Model S, or Model X for that matter, might be a great way of being able to get you into a Tesla at a price you can actually afford. But if you are considering a used Tesla, go in with both eyes open, do your research on any potential problems, insist on a service record, and if you can, get a certified pre-owned model from Tesla. That's it. As always, hit the notification bell to hear the moment a new show is uploaded. And if you want to help us make more of these videos, consider donating through the Patreon link or the Bitcoin link below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep evolving.